Hi there, I'm Andy with First Step Coding. I'm one of the teachers at First Step Coding. And this is a quick introduction to a tool we use a lot in class called Replit. Uh, so JavaScript is a really popular language and there are a lot of different ways, a lot of different options for tools to write JavaScript and to then run the JavaScript. Uh, we really like to use Replit in class uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the biggest reason is just that, just that you can use it right in your browser. You don't need to install anything, so it's really easy to just dive in and start coding. Uh, so on that note, let's dive in and start coding. Go ahead and navigate to repl.it and then click this little uh, search box. You should find JavaScript. Click it. Uh, at this point, you might be prompted to sign up for a Replit account. I recommend you do that. If you have a GitHub account already, you can use your GitHub account to log in. It means one less password to remember. Uh, and then once you're there, you can also go ahead and you can you can rename this to some uh, some name that you'll you'll recognize, so you can come back to your saved work later on. Um, all right. So once you're here you'll see there's a, uh, a light colored screen on the left side and then kind of like this this uh, this other panel, this darker colored panel. Um, so the right side is called your console. Uh, the console is where you can try out a single line of code at a time. It's kind of like your laboratory for trying things out before you, uh, if you're wondering what, what a certain line of code might do. Um, so for example, if I want to test out uh, creating and assigning a variable called x. Let's say x equals 5. Let's make another variable uh, y. Set that equal to 7. Now I've got x. The console remembers that uh, I have this value x that really means 5. And it also remembers I have this other value y that means 7. So if I wanted to combine them into uh, a variable called sum, I could say sum equals x plus y. And now sum is 12. So the console is super useful for trying things out and kind of getting quick feedback. Um, but it's not really useful for uh, writing out a whole program that you can just run and um, it does things for you. Um, the left side is where you're going to write that multi-line program, that that composition, if you will. It's similar to what would be uh, a file. Uh, if you were saving this program on your computer, it would be, um, this code would live in a, in a text file. Um, so for our little example here, let's say we want to collect the name from a user to start with. Um, and then we want to save whatever they enter as a name into a variable. So we'll call that variable username and we'll use the prompt function uh, to request the user's name. We'll say, the prompt should say, what is your name? And one of the keys to coding, especially in the beginning, um, is we want to take small steps. We don't want to write too much code uh, and then wait until we think we're done to run it because we could have made all kinds of little mistakes along the way. Uh, so the key is to take small steps and then run your code, see if it works. If it doesn't work, uh, it's a little easier to figure out what went wrong. Um, so on that note to run our code, there's a play button up here you can click. Um, and when you hover over that button, it'll tell you the keyboard shortcut for your machine. I'm on a Mac, so for me, command enter is the shortcut. And uh, keyboard shortcuts are your friend as a programmer because they save you, uh, they save you time and uh, so let's, I'm going to use that. I'm going to hit Command Enter. And it's asking me, just as I coded it here, what is your name? So I'm going to just pretend I'm a user. Say my name's Andy. And we're done. Didn't really do anything interesting yet, um, but that's because we haven't written the code for that yet. You will see this little uh, undefined coming back on the right side. Um, don't worry about that yet. We'll get to explaining that in a later class. For now, uh, we want to add some behavior to our program. Um, so let's say that 
In my case, I want to, uh, I'm partial to the name Andy. So if the person enters Andy, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them in an alert, that is a nice name. And if the person entered some other name, uh, I wanna give them some kind of message as well. So I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna basically say otherwise here by using this else statement. Uh, and I'm going to, in the else statement, say, um, hello, plus whatever their name is. So if they entered Jill, I wanted to say, hello, Jill. If they entered Steve, I want to say, hello, Steve, etc. You can do that by just saying, hello, that part in these quotes here, plus username. And that's going to take whatever they actually did enter and kind of stick that onto the, the end of that string. Let's test this out. What is your name? Um, so whenever you, you do test your code and you have an, is, an if else statement, you wanna test both sides of that if else statement to be thorough and make sure it's all working as you expect it to. So I'm gonna test this uh, first case, first of all, and uh, to do that, I'll say Andy. I'm expecting this to say, uh, that is a nice name. All right, looks like the code is working correctly, at least for this particular test case. And that says, that is a nice name. Excellent. So now let's test the other side. Let's say, um, let's go ahead and say Jill. And if the code is working like we intended to here, uh, we should see an alert that says, hello, Jill. Here we go, hello, Jill. Awesome. So we've got a working program. Uh, and if you, if you did go ahead and create yourself an account, you'll be able to save this program and come back to it later. So uh, there's a lot more to talk about when it comes to coding, um, but hopefully this gives you a good starting point and helps you out with the prep work. For everything else, I look forward to seeing you in class soon.